Hi everyone and welcome back to another Wear It Wednesday. Excited to go over this look with you guys. But for starters, as always, if you're new to this channel, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the notification bell underneath that so you're notified whenever I upload some new videos. Share around this channel to help it to grow and definitely shoot me a thumbs up. Wait till you see this gorgeous, elegant dress. Let's get started, everyone. hump day and happy wear it Wednesday. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to go over this look with you guys. I absolutely love this dress. Love, love, love. I mean, there's got to be a bigger word for this dress because love just isn't big enough. I got it from my good friend Jaden. It was in that box that I got when I did that unboxing and I didn't show you guys. I just kind of showed, you know, showed you the color but oh my God, I love this on me. I love the way it looks. I love the fit. I love everything about it. I feel gorgeous in it. So we're going to go over everything, but let's first read our words of Jesus for women. Today we are on prayer lesson one, Matthew 6, 9. This then is how you should pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. And it goes on to say, Jesus gave an example of prayer. Notice that in the Lord's Prayer, the first thing he did was honor God's name. So often our prayers begin with requests. While God does not, I'm sorry, while God does want to hear the things that are on our hearts, it is good to step back and recognize his holiness and honor and the honor due to him. Respect his name above all others. Keep him in a place of respect and honor as you begin your prayer time. I really love this. And you know, a lot of times, actually lately, probably within the last, I don't know, six months to a year, when I start my prayer, it is, um, you know, dear Heavenly Father, I come to you and I first off want to start by asking you to please forgive me. So I do start with, you know, Heavenly Father. I love saying Heavenly Father or Father, I come to you and I want to start by asking you to forgive me of my sins. That's one of the biggest things I start my prayer with is his name and right to asking for forgiveness. For I know I sin every day and I ask for forgiveness every day. I repent every day in my life because, you know, he sent his son to die for us. And it's the least we can do is ask him to forgive us for the things we do wrong. We are human. We're going to make mistakes. That is why Jesus died for us. That is why God sent him. But it's important to, you know, honor his holiness, his name. You know, we always want to just, you know, hey, God, can you help me with this and this and this and this? But let's start off with, you know, dear Heavenly Father, you know, and, and I love saying that. I love honoring his name. But am I perfect? No. Are there times that I pray and I pray differently and I don't, you know, don't have his name number one or, you know, make him the holiest of holy? Uh, not all the time. But lately, I've been really trying hard to honor that, that he is, you know, the holiest of all. And he does need to be the most high and, and honored. Of course, he knows we're coming to him for prayer requests and he's fine with that, but let's let's make him the most holiest. So just, you know, a great thing to understand how the Lord's prayer was, our Father who art in heaven, how that be thy name, thy kingdom come. If you understand that prayer that's in the Bible, but I like how it's our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. And I love that. I really love that how he's honoring God first. His own son, Jesus is honoring God first. Down below it says, Dear Father, you are holy, you are powerful, you are loving, you are pure, you are awesome. I forget to recognize these things and other amazing things about you sometimes, sometimes. I'm sorry that I often go right to my request and complaints. Forgive me. Most awesome, forgiving, and loving Father. And it ends in Jesus' name. Amen. And you know, that's that's true. He is an awesome God. We serve an awesome God. And he is so forgiving and just, you know, I love that his mercies are new every day too. His, you know, his mercies 
like he's just such a forgiving God. I mean, he will, will, you know, will forgive us every day for the things we do wrong. And yet how often do we turn away from others and we, we're not, you know, willing to forgive anybody, but God is so willing to forgive us just like that. So let's do like he says here, dear father, you are holy, you are powerful, you are loving, you are pure and you are awesome. And I love at the end how he says, forgive me most, um, most awesome forgiving and loving father and he is the most awesome loving father ever on earth you know we lose people in our life we can lose mothers but we'll never be fatherless which is awesome even though my father passed away 20 years ago this last january january 7 uh, 14th he passed away 17th was his birthday um but he passed away 20 years ago but i was never left fatherless i got my heavenly father in heaven who will always be there and always be my father. And I feel grateful for that. So I'm going to make him the most high. Start your day, go through your day, and end your day with Life's Manual, the Holy Bible. Read it, study it, get a great personal relationship with Jesus because he's the only way to heaven, believing that he died for us and you know took on the sins of the world for us, rose again, or died, rose again, and descended to heaven, and now sits at the right hand of his father. I love saying that. And you know, he is the one that saved us, our Lord and Savior. He came to save us. So, you know, let's give him that respect too. And let's, you know, spend some quality alone time with him. We serve a big God. He can handle a lot. But let's make God, you know, the most important by our, you know, heavenly father or father who art in heaven. You know, let, let's give him the utmost holiness first before we start any of things, you know, any kind of prayer request. Let's try to make God number one. Pull that dust off. And pick this up. You guys are going to love it. It's going to teach you how to live and how to live a great life. I feel so blessed and honored by God. I have many wonderful people in my life, especially Jaden. Uh, Jaden is an awesome friend and he got me this awesome dress. I just can't believe a guy picked out a great dress. You know, he really has great taste. And, you know, when he's seen it and, you know, just said, you like this? I'm like, oh my God, I love it. And he got it for me. Yes, I love it. I couldn't wait to do an outfit of the day in it. And not probably really an outfit for this time of the year. The color is great for this time of the year. I could have done a little sweater over it and then it would have been perfect. But it's a great dress for, for going out. Very elegant, very classy, you know, a classy dinner, uh, out dancing. It can even be for church because it's nice in nice length. There's no cleavage showing really. So it's really a great dress for a lot of occasions. And this could have had a little jacket over it, but I had to show it without the jacket, everybody. And just even though it's winter, I'm inside. I had to show this dress off because I love it. All right, so let me stand up and show you. It's a form-fitting, beautiful, off-the-shoulder dress, and it, got the, it has the look of water. I don't know why, but all the ruching in it gives it the look of water, and that's why I did the nails the way I did it. If you look up close, you see the darker, <clears throat> excuse me, the darker color in there is the color of the dress, and so I wanted different shades. It's a teal color dress, and look, it doesn't it remind you guys of water, the way the waves are in it? the way the lines are in it and the way the light shimmers off of it, it does make you think of water. And that's why I love it. Even my husband said that too. I love it, you guys. Um, I love the form-fitting fit of it. I love the way it fits my body, how it hugs all the different areas of my body. It really just looks great. It's very classy, no dirtiness to this, but it just makes me feel thin and beautiful, and I love it. Jaden, you did a great job picking this out. I love it. And real quick, if I can stand up and show you the length of it, of course, you'll see it in the video, but look at it. It's below the knee, just below the knee, so it's a perfect length, too. And it's form-fitting all the way down. I absolutely love this. I wish you could see it in person. Like, of course, on here, it's looking more blue. Of course, when I look at it, it's more teal. Um, hopefully, you'll capture the, the look in the photo shoot and the photos of it. And it's going to look different ways with the lighting, without the lighting. But it is gorgeous. I would say it's more to the teal blue than teal green. It's more teal blue. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous, you guys. All right, and then I paired it with beautiful AB crystal looking jewelry so that the color teal, because like if you wear pink or blue or green or yellow, whatever, it's so pretty when you do an AB crystal, which is that shift in color. And I'm going to show you that up close. So I chose this necklace and as it shifts, you see more teals are showing with this teal color dress. So I'm wearing this beautiful um, AB crystal, like I said, which AB means a uh, shift in color necklace that I got. I will link everything down below. And then the matching earrings and they're all also a b and then i got this ring and that's a um also a b crystals the shift in color it's a butterfly and then the bracelet the cuff bracelet i got a little bit of hair on here sorry my hair got inside of it 
Um, that's okay. We're not going to worry about that right now. But this is also a shift in color here. It's a cuff bracelet, and it also has that AB crystals. And I thought that would look so good with this till dress. I was going to do it with diamond jewelry, and I thought when I seen this, I went, ah, there we go. Because now look, at you can see it's pulling all the teals out. And that's what's happening because the teal is showing. If I had yellow on it, it'd be different. If I had green on it, it would be different. If I had pink on it, the pink would show. But the teal is really hitting good in here. So that's the jewelry. And of course, being such an elegant dress, I went up with my hair. I noticed a lot of my videos, I've been wearing my hair down a lot. It's winter, so I wear it down more. But I thought, I'm going to go up with this because this is a very elegant out, you know, out to dinner, dancing, very elegant, beautiful dress. I mean, a red carpet look, definitely beautiful. So I went up with my hair. I bunned it up in a kind of a messy bun. And I love the way that turned out too. I think it's beautiful and perfect for this look. All right. So let's show you the makeup and the uh, lip color. So for the eyes, I, and I'll get up close and show you. And then of course I do an open and close in the video. Um, but anyways, I'm doing the Tamix that I got from Ulta. And I will try to cover the mirror so it doesn't bother you guys. Um, I'm wearing this one on my eye, which is called Night Sky. And then I smoked it out with what's called Ocean. And then I'll show you the other one. So those are those two right there. So Night Sky and Ocean. That's on the eyelid. That's in the crease to smoke it out. And then I just went to my All Eyes on You palette. And I just used this one right here. Um, it's kind of a soft, foam, you know, foamy green, kind of what I did with the nails, um, to do the highlight. But I, I mixed it with white, too. I did the white and the foam together. And that's what I did under the eyebrow as a highlight and on the inner eye to give it brightness to the eyes. And I love blue on my eyes. You're going to see when I get up close how my eyes change from different looks that I wear. If I'm wearing blacks and grays and whites, my eyes look more gray. If I'm wearing like blues and teals and greens, my eyes look more blue. You're going to see that more like a lighter blue where the other colors make them look more gray. I have a very light blue eye. And then the color, lip color, I just went with this. It's the uh, um, Cover Girl Wet Sticks and it's just kind of a nude color. Um, I like a coppery nude. I really like it. I thought this would be perfect with this. I actually have an iridescent um, color, lip color, but it's, it's, really old and it's not really coming out of the bottle anymore. I need to get another one. It was from five below. That would have looked great with this too. But I just, I think perfect nude color can't go wrong when you go with a nude and it's a gloss. So it's pretty, so it, sh it shimmers. All right. So I'll get up and show you the eyes and I'll do an open and close. So now you can see my eyes now from last time. If you notice, I, I think they looked kind of blue too, but when I did a black or a white outfit, my eyes look more gray right now. They do look more blue. And I, you know, they they just keep changing from look to look. So I'm going to do an open and close. We have open. And of course, I've got the beautiful lashes, the Ioni lashes I got from Jaden as well. I wore them last week or the week before. I'm sorry, the week before I wore them. And they're a full dramatic wispy. And I just love them. He's trying to get me some more of them. But aren't they beautiful? So the I Oni from uh, Dollar Tree, again, I'll list it all down below. And I'm re-wearing them. I do re-wear my lashes two or three times before I throw them out. But I love the wispy, you know, the wispiness of these lashes and everything. I got to get more because our Dollar Tree doesn't have them. Maybe another one. I do have a couple Dollar Trees to look at and I will look around, but he's also looking for me too. So that's the look of that. And then last but not least, we'll go over the shoes and the bag. The bag, I'm wearing, you know, using this one. I did use this when I wore my Christmas outfit. And that's when I would have done the eyelashes. Um, that's when I last wore them because then after that, I did um, that sport look, I believe, is how, is that how it went? Oh, no, I did my New Year's look. And I think the New Year's look, I did wear the lashes. I think that's when I wore it, when I did my New Year's look. And then... I did the sports look and I didn't have any lashes on. So it was when I did my uh, New Year's look. But I used this purse when I did my Christmas look and I did have the chain on it. I did it as the chain purse, the crossover body or, or just, you know, hang it down your arm. Um, but I took it off this time because I wanted this just to be used as a clutch. Now with this, I wanted it very classy. And this is a very classy outfit. And that's why I like to share with you guys different looks. Last week I did a sport look and now I'm all the way up to the classy, you know, the classiest of classiest look, a red carpet look. I love the look. So I went with that purse without the chain on it. I took the chain off, which is awesome. And it's just a nice little clutch then really pretty with the sparkle on it. And then the shoes, and I've shared these shoes with you before, but my AB, you know, Sawaski crystal, also, you know, the same as the necklace and the earrings and the ring. It's got the shift in color. I hope you guys can see that, but look at all that sparkle. I love these, and it's a very tall, it's a stiletto. Um, uh, it, it is a peep toe, 
not close. It is a peep toe. I do have my toes painted because I don't have any nylons on. Um, and I did the color, the darkest color of this on the toes, just so that it was the color of the dress. But it is a peep toe. So I thought, well, I better just make sure I paint the toes. I always try to have the toes painted, just no art to it. But yeah, I have the little peep toe in there. And I got these. I can't remember. I believe they were... Um, Debs, I think. If not, it was Charlotte Russe, but I think this was a Debs purchase. It's called the Blossom Collection, so it might not even have been Debs. D Blossom Collection. I can't remember. I really can't remember where I got these. But anyways, I have this in here, this cushion thing I got um, a long time ago um, that I put in here. I love this in here because it makes them just easier because I slide in these a lot, um, especially if I'm not barefoot. I slide a lot in them. But I put this in this rubber grip in here so when you wear them in it, and it used to be more clear, but that's okay. But they stick nicely, and I think I got those from Walmart, and I just, you know, you can get these and just put them in your high heels so that you don't slip so much in it because these, since I lost weight, are a little bit big on me. Um, I can't remember what size these are. I think these are a nine, um, but I wear a, um, I wear it like an eight and a half to a nine, but these ran a little bit bigger and these were $45.90 for these, $45.90. And um, yeah, they're a size nine, but I don't know. They just ran bigger. So they're a little bit bigger on me. So they slip around. That's why I did that, that uh, gelness inside. They're also just for the comfort, but they're very comfortable. But yeah, I had the AB and you guys have already seen these one on me as well. Perfect for this elegant, gorgeous look. I love everything, you guys. I love it. Jaden, thank you again so much. I love this dress. I can't wait to wear it, actually, to go out to dinner, out to something fancy, even wear it to church. It's very beautiful. It would look great with a black blazer or a white blazer over it. it would look really pretty for church as well. And I can't, I mean, it's going to be great for spring and summer. It's going to be great for all the time of the year. But I just, I couldn't wait for spring to wear this. I just wanted to do it because I love it so much. But anyways, I hope you guys will enjoy the photo shoot and the photos after. And I hope you're enjoying all of it. I'm sorry that, again, that I'm doing everything at home but I really love doing a photo you know a photo shoot and doing the photos I'm just loving that something different and of course here in Minnesota it's winter can't do anything outside and a lot of places are closed up uh, due to COVID or you really can't get through them I probably could find some places but again maybe I'll surprise you and do some videos with the catwalks and all of that because I know you guys do miss that um, but thank you for your kind heart and understanding I need to do it at home I do you know I'm doing a backdraft and all that to make it look good um, but yeah, I, I'm enjoying doing photo shoots. I think I'm having a lot of fun with it and the photos. So I hope you guys will enjoy that. Everybody take care. God bless. And I will see each and every one of you in my very next upload. Now let's get on to this gorgeous, elegant, beautiful look.